Hello, colors. Welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on the latest as usual. We start with Pablo Gavi as the Barca A's admit one area of his game that he needs to work on. We are going to discuss more on that as we progress. Secondly, talking about... Arsene Wenger, the Arsenal icon, reveals he turned down a chance to manage Barcelona in the past. We are also going to be discussing more on that development. So guys, as we get right into it, please do ensure to subscribe, turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. An air of anticipation and intrigue envelops Estadio Olympic Luis companies in the heart of Barcelona as the stadium prepares to host a classic showdown. A player who has enjoyed great success in this matchup previously is Pablo Gavi, who braces, of course, for another big game after being ruled out of the game against Shakhtar. Of course, Gavi played against Real Madrid. Speaking in an interview, the 19-year-old midfielder shed light on the historic rivalry before the game, his emergence as a starter for one of the biggest clubs in world football, and his, you know, his as an eccentric playing style. When asked to comment that he was gearing up for his ninth Clasico at such a young age, Gavi humbly acknowledged the honor and provided an optimistic outlook for the upcoming encounter. So let's look let's talk about what he said before the classical defeat last week. He said, "Yes, the truth is that things are going very fast and we hope that everything goes well and that we can win." He said at the time, "I never dreamt that I could play once in a classical, but the truth is that I had the luck of playing in nine matches as I said, this will be my ninth, and I'm proud of that. When questions about his when question about his opinions on Real Madrid, Gavi said, "Everyone knows that Real Madrid have a very good squad and excellent players. Hopefully, we can have the game we want against them. Why it may be uncustomary for a teenager to be considered a veteran." Gavi's experience in top-flight football has essentially rendered him one of the leaders of the team. When asked if he had become a veteran of the squad at a young age, the whiskey shared, I always try to help the youngsters who come through the academy, just as Busquets, Sergi, and Jody once helped me. I always welcome the youngsters and help them as much as I can when it comes to dealing with the pressure of bearing such big responsibilities. At a tender age of 19, Gavi remarked, The coach always says they won't kill you for playing football, but you always have the responsibility of playing for the best team in the world, which is FC Barcelona. And to be honest, I deal with that very well. Gavi's multifaceted plain style has given rise to him being bathed in an array of contexts talking about where he feels most comfortable the la masia graduate said in the end wherever i am placed i will give my utmost best i think i feel most comfortable playing in a double pivot i'm sorry in a double midfield but whenever or wherever the coach sees fit no problem when prompted to discuss his preference for carrying out the grunt's work or being involved in the ball, Gavi took the middle ground with appreciation for all his duties. He said, I think everyone always likes to stand out, but for me, I really like both, both defensively and offensively, he stated. The issue of excessive ball canes was brought up and Gavi modestly admitted that he is working to solve these shortcomings, he claimed. It's something the manager is trying to improve a lot. Whenever the team needs me, I will be there. But yes, I have to improve these aspects. 
Speaking about his future ambitions, Gavi stated, Yes, in the end, you always try to think about the numbers you can achieve. But for me, the first thing will always be the team in which we win all the titles possible. But yeah, everyone always wants to, you know, score more goals and more assists. But that's something that's there too. But I think he's been brilliant all season. And well, let's hope, um, let's hope he can eventually achieve many goals and many assists. Great words there from none other than Pablo Gavi, of course, who has always remained a pivotal player in the squad since joining some few years back. Of course, Gavi, of course, plays like a veteran. Many people say that. Gavi has always been an important player in midfield. His presence is always clear whenever he's present. He's present on the pitch. And of course, the classical defeat, we quite remember Gavi was one of the standout players of, on, in that game. And we saw the fact that after we lose so bitterly to Madrid, Gavi felt so emotional. And we even saw tears coming out from his eyes and was applauding the Barca fans in such a cool and sorrowful manner. Because honestly, no one can blame Gavi. He did so well, but of course, the team overall was not good, especially in the second period. Then, moving on to the final story of discussion, former Arsenal balls Arsene Wenger will go down as one of the greatest managers in the modern era of football, thanks to his legendary stint in Arsenal. The French tactician spent a whooping 22 years with the Premier League clubs between 96 and 2018, winning three Premier League titles, seven FA Cups, and a number of other trophies. Across his illustrious career, Wenger, who is now working with the FIFA Director of Development, had opportunities to leave Arsenal and make a move to a different club. In fact, in a recent interview in Bean Sports, the 74-year-old revealed that he could have managed reigning La Liga champions FC Barcelona and their arch rivals Madrid as well on multiple occasions, but opted to stick with Arsenal, he said. I could have joined Madrid two or three times and Barcelona once. It is unclear as to when Barca made an approach for the Frenchman, but it was not enough for the Catalans to coax him away from Arsenal. After the end of the 17-18 season, Wenger decided to bring an end to his managerial career, although reports in France claimed that Barca tried to appoint him in back in 2020 after sacking Kike Setien. It is claimed that Wenger was approached by Barca after they decided to relieve Setien of his duties, and even though he studied the proposal, the former Arsenal boss reportedly opted to reject the Catalan giants. Barca would then go to appoint Ronald Koeman, as their manager in 2020, but the Dutchman lasted only around 15 months before Xavi Hernandez took over the reins. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.